Hey, down here. And I want to do a video about how toxic the anime community get. And I want to do a warning here. This is not for the people who who have been like watching anime for quite a while. This is for people who are starting to get into anime or wanting to get into anime. And this is just like a warning video for them to not get too deep into the community just yet because like I say it's it can get pretty toxic depending on where you are possibly more toxic than say the Undertale fandom which everyone knows is like one of the most toxic fandoms out there and there are mainly two types of people well there's three people but there's two types of people to to know of besides the middle ground between them there is the casuals, which is what the technically the beginners would be called would be, or and the elitists. The cat and I'm going to first explain what these are. Ca the casuals more like more more or less watch more of the let's say dubbed and mainstream anime versus say like the subbed kind of out there anime. Kind of like the kind of like the rare anime that not, that not a lot of people watch anyway. And Elitist is obviously just the reverse. They only they probably only they only watch subs, even though they were probably casual in the beginning anyway. And they watch and they watch those rare that no, rarely anyone watches and and always say, oh, it's the best anime ever. No, everyone should watch it. Doesn't matter. You're in, and they call, it, and then they just call other people's anime shit and all that kind of stuff. That's basically an elitist. And the thing that's toxic about the community are these said elitists. They kind of prey on the on the what they on the casuals, which they call normies, which. I don't know. It's it's, stu it's stupid. That why can't they just let people enjoy what they want to watch and how they want to watch it? And of course, there's that that middle ground of that would just be considered otaku. But then again, both are technically would be considered otaku, but they have their own spe specified kind of personality about them that give them this extra name. Where for me, I'm like I'm in the middle. I watch both dub, sub, mainstream, rare. I watch all. I watch both. So, but I don't have. But I don't have like. Okay, I do have some favorites, but I don't say that. <clears throat> I don't say that other people's anime are shit because that's their preference. The only time I would ever lash about something like that would be toward maybe an elitist because they are just assholes when it comes to it and what kind of sparked me to do these this type of video mainly because of one per one youtuber that everyone knows and practically looks up to called the anime man everyone knows about him well, you say he used to be an elitist. I call bullshit on that. Completely. Because he has the he has the video series, the Fight Me video series, which is exactly what an elitist would actually do. They're fighting, they're arguing or or going with these uh, tweets or comments about other people saying like, oh, oh, this is this is the best show. People, someone saying like, this is the best show ever. Hashtag fight me. And then he either says, I agree with you to some extent, or you or he says you're fucking wrong. And that is just stupid. That is, that is just fucking stupid. Because people have their own opinions, and this is just his way of showing. This is his way of showing that. How much of an elitist he actually is. This is proof that he is 
still an elitist. And I kind of compare the anime man to Trump, but he's a Trump of this of the anime community because he influences people, but for the wrong things. And yes, I yes I'm always salty about him talk, talking shit about a bunch of anime that I liked. Like he's sitting now talking shit about Darling of Franks again, Sao, Fairy Tale. Like these, that were that are like in my top favorites, and yes, it, yes, it, yes. I'm talking about a personal thing. This just had to. This ain't applying to you, but I'm just saying. Like at first, it was it was funny because it was just the meme of oh, of uh, people talking about how oh, Sao is, is trash and all that kind of stuff. But you see. It's, it was funny the first few times, but now he kind of rides that constantly, and he is the soul. He is he is the seed that is growing this toxicity into the community, in my opinion. It, but again, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. Just hear me out. Because every time he does, um, I forgot what he, I forgot what he called it. It was like the, the kind of like what Aki does. It's like a monthly thing. But every time he has his precious Monogatari series all, all the time in it, whether it's a figure, whether it's most of the time it's a figure, and. And I've watched all of it, except for the movie that premiered recently. But and but and I'm saying that I don't like it. I'm just saying he keeps pra he praises it like it's the best thing, like it's the best thing ever, and it's not in my opinion. But and he just keeps on going on about it, like oh, it's my favorite show. You should totally watch it. It's definitely my favorite. Then he probably doesn't like when people talk shit about it, but this is just a warning for people who want to start watching anime to ignore the anime man. Okay, this this little this now turned into just a rant about him. But to me that's he's kind of the root of the problem for this. Kind of like how Trump was the root for all the racial, all the racism that's been happening in the U.S. And that's like I have nothing else to really say about this. I just want to get my thoughts out about this because there's a lot of people that agree with him, and he's getting like sponsorships and all this kind of shit. But he's influencing people in the wrong way. He's, and, and I mean, there are other people that that aren't even that don't even know him, and yet they're still would be an elitist themselves, and. Keep saying and. That's. I, and now I really don't have anything else to say about this because I just wanted to get get this all off my chest. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe anymore because. Yeah. I'm not going to ask people to subscribe anymore because I. I just do this to get. I just do these videos to get like my own personal opinions out. I don't expect anyone to, to, to subscribe or do or hit or like anything. I just need something need considered like not like an outlet of sorts. I don't care and I don't care my face is out, out there and it gets a negative like something like this gets like a negative review like 
I did a video a while back, and it's still getting views, about how fun, the Funimation Now app turned to shit because of the video, because of the playback quality. And I feel like a lot of people that disliked it didn't actually watch the video. They probably just saw that and they're just like instantly dislike and they didn't even watch it for what I was trying to actually say. I'm not, because I'm not saying, because I wasn't saying about the, uh, that Funimation is bad. I'm saying that the, the app they have is bad and the way they do their play, Video play videos is not is ho was horrible at the time. I don't know. It could have gotten better by now, but but I haven't gone back because I've been one well, one money wise, but because I have ha other subscriptions now. And it wasn't just because of the app, but I think the last shot was because the what the website even started doing the same things like. I'm not gonna go into it because there's cause I have a whole a whole video of it, and it's actually my, actually the most watched video on here. Anyway, I should stop rambling and just end the video. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be asking you to subscribe or anything. So I'm just so for for now, I'll just say bye, bye.